Yeah. No. The shot. I hit it this way. You don't need a shot. Oh, What's up? What's up? Technically, why is it not telling me? What's up? What's up? Waiting for my people to roll up in here. What's up, y'all? Y'all already know what I came here to do. I came here to connect with you. You know what I'm saying? To talk to you. To, you know, maybe spark epiphanies in you. You spark epiphanies in me. And, like, I don't want nobody to feel like all of us, like, even, like, talking or things like that. You got to understand, like, within spirituality... The universe may speak through other people, right? And I'm not saying just me, just like, you know what I mean? You, you could end up texting in this chat right now that could end up connecting the dots to something that I've been thinking about for the past week. This is why it's important to always listen to what's going on around you because the universe will send you signs in some of the weirdest ways, you know? And a lot of times we don't even realize it's a sign in that moment until a couple minutes after and it's because it takes that moment for that thought to connect with all the previous thoughts we had before right so for example you know i have a lot of conversations with my spiritual friends because a lot of times um obviously we are knowing each other or you know friends with each other around the same time for a reason what's up y'all hello very appreciative of um of you corpse and lotion you know what i'm saying so you got to understand that when you talk to people listen because a lot of times the universe through those people or it could be showing you something through those people you know so when i come on here i'm coming because i simply had some type of inspiration or reason to come on here right now where does inspiration come from where does those light bulbs come from? It comes from the universe when you have an idea. You know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to show you how how some type of information from the universe can get to you. And these are ways that it gets to you. So, for example, um, I have some type of inspiration. And I'm like, dang, I really feel like I'm supposed to be talking to my people. Number one, that's the universe hinting me to, hey, you need to go talk to your people. Now, when I come on here, I hear very intuitive. So whatever I talk about is whatever is coming to my mind at this moment. Nothing is ever pre-planned. So by me allowing myself to be intuitive when I talk to you, it allows a better chance for me to receive actual intu intuitive message for you. And for you to be able to be like, hey, that resonated. And hey, I've been thinking about this. Why? Because... You clicked on this for a reason. I decided to talk about this for a reason. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of times the universe may not always communicate with you the way that you think it should communicate with you. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times the universe may communicate with the person that's walking down the street. You know what I'm saying? So somebody said, I want more views and get more attention on my art. Do you have any advice how I can manifest that? So what I realized... When it comes to art and, you know, getting yourself out there, uh, thank you. I sell, you know, wire wrap necklaces on my website, link in my bio. Now, when it comes to wanting to sit here and go ahead and get your art out there, you have to first not want it so much. And this is what I mean. Like, I want to be, you know, be famous, a famous music, everything, right? I know that I can manifest this and I know that I can make this happen because I said so, because I'm manifesting it. So by me knowing that I can create my future, I don't stress it out and I don't be like, oh my God, I really want to do this. I really want to do that because you have to understand that the divine timing comes into play at all times. Your manifestation will come, but it's in divine timing. You yourself have to be ready for that. So for example, you may say, I want to be famous, right? I want to be rich. I want to 
Well, in order to get to that level, you, there are certain spiritual lessons you are going to have to learn. And you have to allow the universe to put you through these lessons. So then when you get your manifestation, you are ready for it and you are prepared for it. Right? So, I'm telling you this to understand manifestation and understanding patience when it comes to especially things like that. And you got to understand everything comes with a positive and a negative so your positive may be attention but you got to understand that it's also going to come with a negative of understanding or in the limelight you are getting attention so that comes with jealousy that comes with envy that comes with hate that comes with those things so you have to be prepared for that right so how do you manifest those things you truly got to believe that it can happen believe that it can happen Set intentions that that's what you want to happen. And then you let the universe take care of it. You get what I'm saying? It's like planting seeds, planting plants. You can't keep trying to like, oh, is my leaf growing? Is my No, you water it. You put the food in there. You do what you got to do. And you got to let it do what it do. Just like investing, just like money, just like all of that stuff. You got to just simply plant the seeds and every day move towards that goal. And you have to be grateful. You have to be grateful because think about it like this. Would you literally go and bless a child or bless your friend when they're so ungrateful? The moment you do something for them, they're like, okay, what's next? Would you want to bless them? No. So you got to think about it in the universal term. Also, when you are grateful, you are at a higher vibration, which means that your manifestation is way much easier to attract. Because like attracts like. You can be manifesting this, but if you don't go through those spiritual lessons, if you are not ascending, you will not have this, right? So that's why you have to be okay with the process. Be okay with the growth. You know what I mean? And not chase it. The moment you're chasing things, it's a wrap. You cannot chase things. Because guess what? When I go chase my cat, when I go chase my dog, when I go chase anything, it runs from me. Why are you scaring it? Do you like to be chased? Imagine if somebody was trying to tell you, hey, I like your shirt, but instead they're chasing you like this. It's like, come on, bro. Imagine somebody trying to talk to you. Imagine if somebody was trying to tell you, hey, I like your shirt, but instead they're chasing you like trying to date you all my females out there imagine if there was a guy trying to date you and he started chasing you you really think you for the stop you for the talk to him no but guess what if that person who's trying to get something is composed you know what i'm saying do what they have to do it can come to them an example that i use for this is dogs when a dog leaves the house and it gets lost or whatever, or you just it just so happens to run away, the moment you go look for that dog, because your dog is going to come back to its home because it needs to get fed, it needs to eat, it, it knows where it lives. Your manifestation knows where it's supposed to be, but you have to allow it to work. Think about the stock market. I'm using this because I'm learning these things. You got to allow the market to play out. You got to allow it to play out. You got to let the life play out. What advice would you have for someone on a spiritual awakening while bad things are bubbling up? Bad and good are simply exception, right? And here's another thing that I've realized. The things that we think are negative, a lot of the times, the negative things are what create the positive. That's why there's no real such thing as bad and good because they both help within itself. You know what I'm saying? We wouldn't know who were good if it wasn't for us having bad people in our life or negative people or things that we are not seeing at a high level. You know what I'm saying? So you have to understand that they are one and the same and you have negative aspects and positive aspects about yourself. So you have to understand that when there is a negative, it's for a reason. And the reason is, it's for something positive. Everything forever will always be for the greater good. So every negative aspect, every negative thing, every bad thing that happens to your life, it's so in the end, you are able to ascend and you're able to grow. And therefore, that is a positive experience. So chasing positive experiences, in my opinion, I think are negative. And this is what I mean. 
Chasing a positive experience. Remember, chasing a positive experience is no good. Why is that? Because you ever found somebody trying to chase happiness? You ever found somebody if you keep trying to like find love? I want to find love. I want to find love. I want for love instead of letting love come to you, right? But guess what? When you chase the negatives, right? The things that we do not like, that's when magic starts to happen, right? For example, failure when you are on a journey. Chasing fear, meaning doing things to, you know, like, if I'm starting something new, I know I am going to mess up. I know I'm going to fail, but I'm going to chase that because I know in order for me to become good, I have to go through failure. So by me chasing failure and being like, I'm going to go at it, go at it, go at it, go at it, you know, I'm going to lead to a positive experience. Also, think about working out. In order to get that perfect body, what do you have to take? You have to take pain. Simple as that. In order to have a great relationship, you have to take pain. Why is that? You ever heard of the quote, everybody is going to hurt you. It's who you determine is worth being hurt. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, relationships, growing yourself, it's all going to hurt. Healing trauma is all going to hurt. But chasing that, chasing that healing of the trauma is going to hurt. And that's a negative experience. But after that experience comes what? You know what I'm saying? Let's think about all our favorite movies. All our favorite movies, they somehow have some type of negative beginning. Meaning there is somebody is going through something negative. Let's say it's a child trying to become a star. That person is Bohemian Rhapsody. The kid is bully. The kid is insecure. The kid is this and he goes more towards that and towards the end you see a more positive ending but it takes that pain in order to grow simple as that growth is a positive experience pain is a negative experience because we don't like it we, that's our judgment on pain we don't like it so we call it a negative experience you get what i'm saying but understanding that chasing that pain is what will help you grow pain is growth so when you chase after that pain, you be like, you know what? I'm going to go into this gym and I'm going to, I know I'm going to hurt, but I'm going to go chase it. I, I need to be sore when I leave this gym. That's how I know I'm growing. You know what I mean? When I mess up, when I fail, how I know I'm growing because now I learned something from that failure. If you know what I mean, I learned something from that failure. You know? And I don't know why, you know, what made me talk about this. You know what I'm saying? But whatever reason it is, it was for somebody who to hear that. And a lot of times, it says, hold on. I wanted to turn off my Wi-Fi. And a lot of times, we got to understand that, you know, like. A lot of times, we got to understand that, you know. When you ask for a sign, it will happen, but you got to listen. You got to be willing to hear what the universe is trying to tell you. You know, so. Invite. Wow, I can invite people now on here. Wow, I can have people on the live now. That's dope. Wow, this is new. TikTok is really like updating itself. What's up, y'all? If y'all have any other questions, I'm here to answer. I'm gonna put some uh some meditation music in the background for us so we can vibe out. You know what I'm saying? But let's just take this moment to make it a super high vibrational space in this moment right now. And all we want to do is figure out how to ascend even more and even more. You know what I'm saying? So what does the number 34 mean? I mean, I can look that up for you, but you got to understand that if you want me to be real with you, whenever you want to see a number, I'm not going to be available. So you got to be able to say, hey, 34 keeps popping up. I'm going to look it up. You have to take the initiative to do that. Because when I was searching for what does this mean? What does this mean? I didn't have anybody to be like, hey, this means this. The only thing I had was the Internet, you know. And all you can do is, if you feel like there's a lot of things telling you different things, you look at all those numbers and see which one is resonating the most. 
can you go live more often yes i can how can you discern guidance from your angels and negative beings well here's the thing this is where intuition comes into play and this is why i say you need to meditate because when you meditate you know it's the difference between thinking you know what is your gut your higher self and what is completely noise and when you're meditating you can also remove that noise so you can hear your intuition your gut clearly so focus on instead of being like well which is which which is which you're going to confuse yourself focus on quieting the mind of those negative beings so then your voice can come out so loud and clear if you don't know what it means to keep seeing it right down your notes is this scary going through a spiritual awakening sometimes it can be it very much can be because not knowing is scary that is what's scary how can you discern yeah we already did that okay if you thinking about when you see that certain number any tips on manifesting appearance so manifesting appearance unless you are going to get surgery you are not going to look different now this is what i'm going to say all of this is so like we have to think about it our mind is so we don't really know what is real or what is not we don't really know if what we're seeing is really true if you know what i'm saying so you got to understand that your mind can change the way that it sees things so when you train your mind to believe a certain thing, it will see that certain thing, if you know what I'm saying. So by you making yourself believe and making yourself see yourself as a beautiful being, as a confident being, your mind will then reiterate your body. And what I mean by that is, your energy, your confidence, the way that you move will then start to change. And the way that that energy goes out and then people will see you as that because your current energy is that. So, for example, if my energy and I say I am beautiful, I am confident, my energy turns into that of confidence. That energy goes out into the world and people pick that up as receptors, if you know what I'm saying. It's like a social media post. The moment I post and I say, I am beautiful and I say my energy is filled with this, the universe will conspire to that. Period. Because a lot of these, you know what I'm saying? A lot of these rappers and stuff like that, they are not what you call physically appealing, but because of their energy that they walk in with, which is confidence and they believing that they are beautiful and powerful and we see them as that you get what i'm saying we also talk about money makes people more attractive is it that money makes people more attractive or is it that the way that they carry themselves when they have money that makes them more attractive too you know what i mean also yes people may think that they are more attractive just because they have items they think the items are attractive but what i do know is when you are seeing yourself as more attractive people will see that and people can feel your energy that's why people be like hey you all right something don't feel right because they can feel you yeah at the end of the day it's all energy our soul is not a physical appearance it is a aura it is a essence you know what i mean and it depends on how that aura or essence is so if my aura or essence is beautiful you're gonna think i'm beautiful how do i manifest a friend you manifest a friend by first being okay with being alone right second you manifest a friend by saying what you want in a friend do not try to manifest a specific person don't be like i want travis scott as a friend because at the end of the day travis scott might not be the friend that you really need so you say i need a friend that's loyal that's compassionate that's funny that's this so you can get what you really need and not just a something that looks pretty on the outside but it's not really what you want you know what i'm saying how did you learn all this did you learn it all from researching on the internet nah this is this is wisdom that has been carried in my soul now when things that i've learned are things that are of this nature and of this physical plane such as like like eating healthy and uh you know 
manifestation like these are things that i've learned but when it comes to saying things like energy and things like that these are just things that i've experienced so there may be a few articles on it but there will never be no article that says exactly what i say because these are things of my experience that's how i'm able to know see chakras chakras is a kind of like a, I don't want to say a literature, but it's also it's a literature to energy. It's like a textbook for energy. It's like a, you know, you take your energy work, your spiritual work, and you put it in school. These are things that I have to teach myself because we have terminology for things. You know what I'm saying? So, for example, if I speak Spanish, you know what I'm saying? I got to learn the English terminology, even though I know as an essence that you're talking about a pair, but I need to know the English terminology of a pair so I can communicate with that you, communicate that for you. I understand chakras after I've taught myself the terminology. Have I already believed that there's energies in our body? Yes, but there are more intricate ideas, and that's when you go to the internet. You know what I mean? Because these are kind of proven things. But this is how I know when somebody is not as genuine as they say, I'm a she. She. That's how I know people aren't as genuine as they say they are. Because I'll ask them things. And instead of giving me an experience-based answer, they'll give me an answer that's based off of research. Research, research, research. A lot of spirituality is feeling. It's feeling, feeling what feels right and knowing, you know, so that's how you can tell who is genuinely spiritually awakened and who is putting on a front. People who put on a front can only regurgitate what they have learned somewhere else. People who genuinely are going through this spiritual experience can tell you what they have experienced. So, for example, somebody said, wait, I'm confused. What are we talking about? Right now, I am talking about how you can tell someone is genuinely on their spiritual experience or somebody is faking or, or acting. You know what I'm saying? So, what I'm saying is the way that you can tell somebody is genuinely on their spiritual experience is they will talk about things that is of their spiritual experience. So, for example, instead of me telling you like, Oh, meditation does this. Meditation helps with the mind. Meditation helps with this. Like, these are obvious, simple answers, and they are correct answers. But the difference between someone that is genuinely like, you know, this person is in it, somebody who is genuinely will be in it and be like, you know, when I meditate, I feel my body do certain things, like, it'll vibrate when i get to a certain point in my meditation and when i realize that it's vibrating i realize that i'm kind of like in a zen state do you peep the difference from me saying that because i'm telling you of my experience and then somebody being like yeah meditation helps with you know the mind and meditation helps with you know depression and things like that it's like okay but you're just telling me information but experiences is what allows you to really understand this is why when you learn exactly when you learn from people who have the personal experience instead of just the knowledge you're able to understand so for example a lot of our college professors want to teach us about business and all they have is the knowledge but no experience so how can they really teach us if they have no actual experience to be like well this is what happened to me when i put this knowledge into place you know what I'm saying? Because we all seen math questions where, oh, this is how you're supposed to do the math question. But on the test, it's different. And it's like, of course, because you need experience to understand that, hey, this is not always going to be the same. Like one plus one plus one. You know what I mean? Like eventually you're going to get a question that's three plus three. And you got to know that, hey, when I add, I'm supposed to go one, two, three. And that's off of experience. You know, and I hate math, too. I hate math, too. But you got to understand math is a language of the universe. The universe speaks through numbers. The universe speaks through, you know, that's something that you just in shapes. That's something that you cannot fight, you know. So let me put my music on. It's meditation music. Also, guys, 
I want to show you something. How much did the nose piercing hurt? It didn't hurt that bad. The piercing that hurt the most was this. Also, guys, I want to tell you, I dropped the song before, before you be like, oh, promotion. Hear me out. Hear me out. So I genuinely made this song and it's called Pay to Sacrifice. So in this song, I explained manifestation because I understand a lot of people, they will not be able to consciously be like, hey, I want to learn how to manifest. A lot of people have to be subconsciously programmed to a positive way of thinking. Just like they are trying to program you to think negative by using negative frequencies and negative music. So what I'm doing is I've created a song. It's called Pay to Sacrifice. And I've made it to subconsciously teach you how to manifest. And here's the thing. When you sing it, when you sing words, you are subconsciously planting them in your head, right? So that's why I always tell people, be careful what you're listening to. Because a lot of Molly Percocets, Molly Percocets, you're normalizing the use of these drugs by you talking about it because now it is a normal thing to talk about it. And that's where normalization comes in. We have to realize that a lot of the things that we think are normal are not really normal. Society has controlled us to think that it is normal. Period. Now, I'm going to play the song. Also, the song is in the link in my bio. So if you guys want to hear it there too, but I'm going to play a little bit of it and I'm going to explain to you how I am exactly teaching you how to manifest within this song. Now understand this song is my kind of way. Um, it's kind of my kind of way of tricking people into spirituality because a lot of people are, uh, what's the word? They are intimidated by it. You know what I mean? So let's go. I'm going to show y'all. And listen to the words, because this is the most important part. All right. And this is a message. Like, I make my music specifically for my TikTok people now. I have a mission to teach spirituality. So all my music, yes, it has sublim sub subliminal messages in it. So here it is. Listen to what I'm saying. Stick with me, y'all. Stick with me. Because there ain't no artist besides people like X. Who did stuff like this. Gotta move to better things. I know there's some settling. Pay attention to the melody. As I sing with the soul of me. Going through my course with the mindset. That this world is all yours. Can't write that. Just push it with my force. Like a mind. So let me explain to you. And yes, it is a lot of artists out there that do it. But there was only one person who made it cool and opened the door for those people. So this song, right, is called Paid. Don't tell me about NLE Choppa. Don't ever tell me about NLE Choppa. Because NLE Choppa is a fraud. Okay? NLE Choppa was not seriously about his spirituality. And that's what I was talking about when I said... Look at people who talk about their experience and people who just spit to you knowledge that they read. Okay? Okay? Because NLE Choppa literally talks to you as if he is presenting a presentation. That is not knowledge. That is something that you have read and regurgitated. That's not true knowledge. You see how I can explain to you something? And it sounds like, hey, this sounds like something she's been through. This sounds like something she really knows about. When he explains things to you, it sounds like he's learning for he's learning it for the first time too. That's what I'm talking about. Peep that and be aware of that because you need to understand that spirituality will become a trend. Because spirituality is now becoming more aware. People are being aware of it. And when society and the higher elites realize, whoa, people are really starting to be more spiritual, they will take spirituality again and try to flip it. Everyone is not learning for the first time. This may be your first time in this life, you know, but not everybody is learning for the first time. 
you have to understand there are people who are old souls who are naturally born with knowledge. I'm 21 years old. I'm 21 years old. And a lot of things are simply things that I feel and have been simply like I feel it in my soul as if I've been through it. Why do I have so much knowledge about things if it's like, you know what I mean? Like you gotta, you know, I just know that I've lived this life multiple times. Listen to the way that I talk about things. Listen to the way that I, I like, you know what I mean? The proof is in the pudding. And then you look at NLE Chopper, look at actions. You really think. All right, then. So, you know what I'm saying? You know what's up then. But you got to understand that you saying that there's people that's learning this for the first time. Yes, but you got to understand that there are still people who are trying to make money off of this, off of spirituality, you know? And then you're talking about somebody like Inali Chapa who is now making, going back, talking about some, oh, I'm going back. Why would you go back? Why would you go back to what you felt wasn't really positively helping you? That's not, I wouldn't go back to what was negatively affecting me. So you go back to talking about guns and murdering people. So did you really care? Because if you still care about it and you doing it because you need money, then you sold yourself. You sold yourself out and you never really was doing it. Yeah, but I can't listen to somebody. I can't listen to their lyrics if they're not living that life. You know what I mean? I can't listen to it. I can't believe you. So I cannot. You know what I mean? So back to the song, though, what I was saying. The song, I said, got to move to better things. I know it's unsettling. You know what I mean? So meaning that growing is very uncomfortable. Growing is very uncomfortable. It is very uncomfortable and unsettling. Meaning it's not such a great experience growing because you are moving out of comfortability. Right? So got to move to better things. I know it's unsettling. Pay attention to the melody as I sing with the soul of me. So what I'm telling you is my pronouns and she. What I'm telling you is pay attention to my voice because in my voice, I am setting an intention for you to feel me. Intention is a strong thing. I'm intending that you feel my voice and you feel the melody and the melody alone is supposed to make you feel something. Right. So then um, uh, pay attention to the melody as I sing with the soul in me. Going through my course with the mindset, going through life with the mindset that I can manifest anything. So I said, going through my course with the mindset that this world is all yours. Got to write that. Now, I just posted a video saying, if you write down your manifestation, there is a 42% higher chance of it happening. Somebody was like, oh, don't listen to these fake woke TikTokers because I said that. But the truth of the matter is there has been scientific studies that when you write down your goals, they are more likely to happen. You have to understand when you write down, you have just taken a thought and put it on a physical entity. You have then created alchemy because you took energy, a thought, something that you want and put it on paper and made it something physical that you can look at. Right. So this is why I say write it down down write it down so going through my course with the mindset that this world is all yours gotta write that i can manifest anything i want and i'm going to write that period to push it so i'm saying um going through my course with the mindset that this world is all yours gotta write that to push it with my force like a mind's act what i'm saying is your mind looks like star wars the force your mind has the force your mind in this your mind is the magic your soul should be controlling your mind and you want to use that force to create whatever you want going through my course with the mindset that this world is all yours gotta write that to push it with my force like a mind zach imagination of course Got to cite that. So what I'm saying is, yes, I'm writing it. And yes, that is a big part. 
But don't forget that imagination, which equals visualization, is the key to also manifesting. Hold on, my back. Visualization is also a key to manifesting. That's why I say, gotta cite that, meaning gotta cite my sources, gotta say exactly what's helping me succeed. This is where I'm getting my evidence from. And that is manifestation is connected with writing your goals out and visualizing your goals. Period. Now, I'm going to play the song again. After I've explained everything, listen to it again and feel the messages that I'm telling you. Also, if you want to go listen to the song yourself, go to the link in the bio and click Sticks' music. But here it is. It's called Pay to Sacrifice. Now that you know the subliminals, pay attention and allow them to soak in. Gotta move to better things. Gotta move to better things. I know this is settling. So yeah, and now I'm gonna play one more song for y'all, right? This is unreleased, but listen, listen. I made this song after that whole Lil Nas X thing, right? Because despite whatever Lil Nas X intention was, I wanted to remind people that you need to remind yourself that you are light. Somebody says, "How can I trust intuition?" I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna talk about that. Relax. And I make my beats. I make my beats. If you wanna purchase a beat. You know what I mean? I can make one for you. I don't mind. But listen to this song and tell me what y'all think. Listen to what I am saying. I am trying to speak messages to my people that society and higher elites would not allow me to talk about just any regular online place. So this is why I have to do it in music. This is why certain people be like, ah, let me not talk about it. That's why I put it in music. Listen to this song. I made this whole song. I have to beat everything. Listen to the lyrics, please. I promise you will get some type of spiritual advice out of this. Link in my bio, click Sticks is Music. Listen to what I say. your mind or else they're gonna take it take away your life that's what they made you hey that's what they gave you that's what they made you so basically because i'm about to go deep in this right basically i want you to see me as that morpheus character who's telling you hey you can choose the red pill or the blue pill. But I need to tell you that when you choose this pill, you are going to go to sleep. When you choose this pill, you are going to wake up. In this song, I'm saying, can you remind yourself that you're light? Remind yourself that you're wise. Because in this world of distraction, 
They will try to make you forget that you are a soul. You are a divine light being that is so much more than this human body. So I'm trying to remind you that you are a light being, that you are a divine being. You can defeat any kind of physical thing that they are trying to put on you. Now, I say, um... I just see the dark go up so bright, meaning I just keep seeing the darkness of the world keep making itself more and more noticeable. It's not even trying to be subtle anymore. They're just like, here, I don't care. I'm going to throw Satan at your face. Like, it don't matter. Like, it's an open thing now. It's not even like it's normal now. I just see the dark go up so bright, fighting with my light, go hard all night, meaning no matter what, I'm continuously going to have my light like a thunderbolt. And I'm going to fight it all the way. It don't matter if it's just me in the darkness. Because at night, it's dark. I don't care if I got to be the only piece of light at night. I am going to defeat whatever darkness comes in my way. Um, Fighting with my light. Go hard all night. Traveling because we fighting right. It's divine. Lose your mind. Consciousness is right. And then I say, but you got to use your mind or else they're going to take it. When you don't use something, you lose it. You have to use your mind, but you got to use your mind or else they're going to take it. When you see ads, watch Social Dilemma. If you have ever watched Social Dilemma, you will see in Matrix, they sell us, they use us, our body, our energy. They use our energy. They use us, right? So you got to use your mind or else they're going to take it. Take away your light. Slaves, that's what they made you. Hey, that's what they gave you. This is what I'm saying now. When I say slaves, that's what they made you. They put people into slaves mentality. Hey, that's what they gave you. They simply created racism. They created all these type of, you know, ways for us to hate each other. This, you know, hating lesbians and gays. They made all this happen so we can hate each other. And when we hate each other, they have more control over us because we are not unity. Hey, that's what they made you late. That's what they made you. Uh, um, can you re? Yes, my moon is in Aries. How did you know? Can you remind yourself you're wise? Yet they want your mind. Don't play with dark and light. Yeah. You feel me? So I'm a little sick right now, so I'm stuffy or whatever. But yeah, basically, that's what that song is. Like, period, point blank. I am making music to literally spread consciousness. Because you know what? The music industry don't got that. And also, even if you don't want just my music, if you want to hear the spiritual music that I listen to, I listen to Willow Smith, I listen to Janae Aiko, I have a manifestation playlist in the link in my bio if you are looking for more spiritual, enlightened, or spiritual-based, driven, inspired music. If you want to listen to my music, you click the link in my bio, and then you click Sticks' music, or you can click my YouTube channel, or you can click the Count Them Days music video, you know what I'm saying, it's whatever you want to do. But also, if you guys want to support me, I have a crystal shop. If you guys are looking for places to get crystals or organite, you know, to protect yourself, you go ahead and click the link in my bio again and click crystal shop. You know what I'm saying? But, yes, I give my energy out. That's what I'm saying. And that's why I haven't been on live because it's been important for me to keep my energy to myself so I can cultivate it. But I'm here. I chose to speak out to you guys because I'm here to give out that energy. In order for me to receive energy from the universe, I have to give out energy. The universe gave me a responsibility to teach, to inspire, to speak. The things that I have been through, you know, constantly being yelled at for the way that I speak, making sure that I speak proper is for these reasons here. So I can be able to speak proper proper, and explain to you the things that you need to understand. But imagine if back in those days when my dad was yelling at me, like, text like this, spell like this, don't be speaking in slang. Like, imagine if I didn't go, imagine if I didn't go through those things, those pain of hearing, like, like my dad yelling at me. I wouldn't have been been able to really express myself to you in the way that you were able to understand me, you know. So understand that everything happens for a reason. Um, I'm about to head out, though. 
I love you guys. You guys go ahead and do what you got to do. I'll speak to you guys later. Y'all go have a great day. Make sure you guys go hit that link in my bio. Go check everything out. Support, share, like, love. I love y'all so much. Thank you so much, um, Birdo. Thank you so much for the donation. I appreciate that so much. I hope you have a great day. That energy will be brought right back to you. Whatever you send to me, whatever you send to anybody else will come right back to you. So have a great day. I love y'all. Be productive.